Did you read that title and immediately think, I don't have the space for a walk-in pantry? That might be true, but space isn't the only thing to consider in this debate. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I wanted to take a little bit of time and address this debate, if you will, between walk-in pantries and pantry cabinets. Because the discussion just came up between myself and a client, and the more we talked about it, the more we realized that this debate isn't as cut and dry as you might think. So, you can take a look at this video as kind of like a pros and cons list of the two different options. Let's start out with the more common variety, the pantry cabinet. This is the standard style floor to ceiling cabinet you see placed somewhere in the kitchen. It may be a single cabinet, a row of cabinets together. There might be multiple cabinets, but located in different zones of the kitchen. Or in some cases, it might be a shallow closet made to look like a walk-in pantry. I think you get the point, it's a cabinet or storage area that you can't enter. The major benefit to this style is a more centralized storage space. With a pantry cabinet, everything is directly in front of you. There isn't multiple walls of shelving with small appliances mixed in. It's all right there. And let's be honest, most walk-in style pantries out there in the wild in real kitchens don't look like the ones you see on Pinterest. More often than not, it's a contained room of chaos than this beautifully executed and well-organized, well-put-together space. Regardless, you don't have that luxury with pantry cabinets. They need to stay more organized, and that means less time looking and more time cooking. That leads me into accessibility. Pantry cabinets are located right in your kitchen, generally near your wall oven or fridge, and adjacent to your cooktop or range. This creates an incredibly efficient workstation, eliminating the need to walk across or even out of the kitchen to get to a walk-in pantry. Finally, they don't take up a ton of space. And although there are examples out there of kitchens with multiple pantry cabinets, this isn't the most common scenario. Typically, they are found in the 24 to 36 inch range, providing efficient storage for the footprint. The key to these cabinets though is organization. That means including pull-out drawers for any pantry cabinets that are 24 inches deep. That all sounds pretty good, but pantry cabinets do come with a downside. And first and foremost, it's size. No matter how well you organize that cabinet, it is limited by space. If you are someone who doesn't see themselves keeping it organized, or doesn't like taking advantage of every nook and cranny, this might not be the best option for you. This style of pantry also takes up valuable countertop space. Whenever I'm designing a kitchen, I'm sitting down and trying to find the right line between storage space, countertop room, and function within the kitchen. And the hardest part is that there is no right answer. It will change depending on your storage needs, how you use your kitchen, and what you expect out of the space. Just be aware that every pantry cabinet you include likely leads to a patch of countertop removed. All right, on to walk-in style pantries now. And these sort of seem like the holy grail of kitchen design. You know, it's one of those things, one of those elements in a kitchen that when guests walk into the space, they immediately go, oh wow, you are so lucky to have one. The biggest upside to a walk-in pantry is storage, period. It doesn't need to be huge, doesn't need to be this massive butler style pantry, but I'm also not talking about a converted closet that you can barely step inside. These spaces can include floor to ceiling shelves, extra countertop space, some even have built in appliances. Not only can they store dry goods, but they can become a spillover area for your kitchen. Small appliances, cookbooks, extra dinnerware, or serving dishes. All of the items you don't need on a day to day basis in your main work area. They become a very versatile part of your kitchen. I for one hate countertop clutter and would love an area to remove my espresso maker and the toaster from the main kitchen, but still have it set up on a countertop area where it's functional, not somewhere I need to pull it out of a cabinet and set it up every time I wanna use it because well, I can just see that becoming a quick pain in the you know what. The storage in a walk-in pantry can be more spread out. While some may think of this as a negative, for others it's a real positive. The extra space allows for a baking section, a dry goods area, it allows for space for serving dishes or mixing bowls. It's all about organizing the space how you want it, not by what fits where, which is typically the case with pantry cabinets. The downside to all of this space is that whipping up a quick dinner or dessert can take a little more time. Because a walk-in pantry requires a little more area, it is often separated from the main kitchen or working area. That means a little more movement throughout our kitchens, but hey, we could all use the extra steps sometimes anyways. Largest downside to a walk-in pantry, at least in my view, is the space and attention they require. 
Not every home has the area that they can carve out for a walk-in pantry. And in many cases, the footprint and layout of our home is gonna dictate whether or not that is even possible in the first place. In many cases, it often means shrinking the footprint of the main kitchen in order to accommodate the pantry. Only you can decide if that trade-off is worth it. Finally, walk-in pantries require upkeep. I'm not talking about simply rearranging like a pantry cabinet requires. This is another room. It needs to be cleaned and kept organized. Open shelves require far more diligence than those behind closed doors. I have a pantry cabinet in my kitchen. That, along with a hutch and adjacent room, well, we make it work. I would never consider it ideal, especially when it comes to fall time when we go through a lot of different food preserving, but again, we make it work because back when we renovated, we looked at our footprint from every possible angle and there just was no way to carve out a walk-in pantry that was A, within our budget or B, even feasible. So sometimes that decision is made for us, but I always think this decision is an avenue worth exploring. Hopefully this video gives you a little bit of food for thought, something to discuss as you're planning your space or working with your kitchen designer. If you enjoyed it, consider giving it a thumbs up or maybe leave a comment down below on your experience choosing one option or the other. Thanks a ton for watching and until next time, bye-bye.